I'm Robin Williams, an interventional radiologist. I'm going to show you how to do a uterine artery angiogram as a prelude to a uterine fibroid embolization on the Mentis Vist C simulator. We're going to start with a Cobra 2 catheter and a hydrophilic guide wire, which we've pre selected. We're going to use this combination to cross the aortic bifurcation as we've shown you before. So we're going to advance the cobra caster into the proximal left common iliac artery. Withdraw the guide wire. Do an angiogram and identify the bifurcation of the internal and external iliac arteries. Reinsert the guide wire. Again, very carefully as you get to the tip. and select the internal iliac artery. Again, remove the guide wire. And at this stage, we need to identify the bifurcation into the anterior and posterior divisions. Generally speaking, the best angle to look at this is a left anterior oblique for the left side. Again, just repeat the angiogram. We need to centre a little bit further south. And there we can see the bifurcation into the anterior and posterior divisions. And in fact, we can see the main uterine artery on the left. We're now going to exchange this guide wire for a microcaster. So we need to select this from the inventory. We're just going to use a straight microcatheter and then an 014 guide wire with an angle tip. And insert this combination through the catheter. You can see the micro wire and the micro catheter advancing now. Again, if we withdraw the micro wire, the 014 wire, we can do an injection through the micro catheter and to give ourselves a roadmap. So we need to select the anterior division, as we have done there. And the catheter's already, or the wire has already gone into the uterine artery. And we're following the bends, which we can see from the roadmap. Follow with the microcatheter. And the aim is to get relatively distal into the uterine artery to avoid embolization of other branches. Remove the guide wire. We'll just mag up once. 
I think we'll straighten the sea arm and perform an angiogram. And there you can see good opacific opacification of the fibroid. So now we've performed the angiogram of the left uterine artery. We're going to come back, come off magnification. center north and do the same thing on the right hand side. To do this we're going to have to change the catheter to something that will allow us to select the right internal iliac artery. So standard practice, remove the microcatheter, select an appropriate guide wire, you can use the standard J-tip guide wire. Advance that into the aorta. Remove this caster and change it for something that will allow us to select the internal iliac artery, in this case a renal double curve catheter. Going to insert that over the guide wire up into the aorta. And again we want probably a left anterior oblique. It'll give us the best imaging of the bifurcation between the internal and external iliac arteries. Remove the guide wire and perform an angiogram. Just make sure the wire's out. And there we go. And we can see the bifurcation between the internal and the external iliac artery. I'm going to change the guide wire for a hydrophilic angled guide wire, something more appropriate to catheterize the internal iliac artery. Reinsert it. As we pull back on the catheter, torque it so it falls into the origin of the vessel. And Gently advance the guide wire, just far enough to provide stability to advance the catheter into the origin. And adjusting the torque on the catheter to allow it to stay in place. I may need a little bit more wire. In centre south again, just confirm our position with a little injection of contrast. And this time we want a right anterior oblique to open up the bifurcation between the anterior and the posterior divisions. And perform an angiogram here. And there we can see a large uterine artery again arising from the anterior division. And now's the time to change back to your microcatheter and wire. Reselect those.
Insert gently. Advance the wire first. to remove the wire and now inject some contrast through the microcatheter just to work out exactly where I am. Just take a little run there. And we can see the bifurcation between the anterior and posterior division. Reinsert the 014 wire. And follow with the microcaster as we advance it down the uterine artery. Again, the aim is to get relatively distal. I think we'll magnify the image and centre a little south, remove the guide wire, inject some contrast, we're probably a little too distal there so we'll just come back and then do an angiogram. And you can see the fibroid pacifying nicely. It's worth pointing out that if we come back a little and inject here, perhaps a little further, show you. Now you can see a tiny little pudendal branch which appears and would be vulnerable to non-target embolization if we'd injected back here, so this is the reason for passing the microcaster much more distally.